Okay, in this video, uh, what we're going to do is calculate um, the empirical formula of an unknown organic compound, and then we're going to turn around and calculate the actual formula of the um, um, compound, the actual molecular formula of the compound. Now, um, the compound that we're going to be working with is nicotine, and its uh, molar mass uh, is um, 1... 62.12. I'm going to put that over here because we're going to need this later. Now, in terms of empirical formula problems, I consider this one a uh, medium difficulty. Um, you'll find a posted video that deals with calculating the easiest kind of empirical formula. And uh, this is uh, the type of problem that is the next step up because we've been given the grams of each of the elements that are in the compound. The type of problem that's a little bit more difficult than this one is the one where you're given uh, the percentages of the elements. And then you'll also find um, videos on my channel that deal with the ultimate kind of empirical formula problem where you're given uh, uh, decomposition data um, where they take the compound and they burn it in oxygen producing carbon dioxide and water and you have to figure out the empirical formula from there. So this is this is of medium difficulty and what we've been given is the mass of each of the elements that are in the compound and what we need to do is first is find the moles of each element so we're going to use unimultiplier method to do this. Notice that I have each of the masses in what I call a stack. So we're going to do these calculations simultaneously and one over the top of the other. The, the purpose of this is that we're going to get over here and we're going to have a ratio and I, I want that ratio so that I can see each of the elements in a line. This just cuts down on the probability of making a mistake. The other thing that we're going to do as we run our calculations is we're going to carry out all of our numbers. We're not going to do any rounding. And I highly recommend as, as you do go through the video with me you, that you actually run the calculations side by side. Now, <clears throat> the molar mass of carbon is 12.01. Molar mass of hydrogen is 1.008. And the molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01. Um, Okay, so the moles of carbon that we have are uh, 6.164, and that's the moles of the carbon. The moles of the hydrogen are um, 8.63. All right, and the moles of the nitrogen are um, 1.23. Now, at, at the point where, where we have the moles of each of the elements, what we do at this step is we inspect the numbers and we're looking to find the smallest value. When we compare these numbers, you see the smallest one is nitrogen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to divide each of the values by the smallest value. By the smallest value. All right, which is um, the value of nitrogen, so 1.233. All right, and we want to see what that ratio turns out to be. So in the case of the carbon, the, the ratio is 4.999 or 5. In the case of the hydrogen, it's 6.999 or 7. And in the case of the nitrogen, it's simply 1. So this one is, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of my um, pen here. So this is the carbon. 
uh, this is the hydrogen and um, this is the nitrogen. All right, so now we can write our empirical formula. The empirical formula is going to be equal to C5, H7, and um, one nitrogen. Okay, now the next thing to do is we want to find the actual formula of the compound. And to do that, we're going to take a ratio of um, the molar mass of the, of the molecular formula divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula, which I'll represent this way. When you do that, you're going to get a whole number. And we're going to take this whole number and we're going to multiply it through the empirical formula to, um, to alter this formula to the one of the actual compound. Because remember, your empirical formula is the lowest whole number of ratio of elements found in the actual compound. So to do this, since we already have um, the molar mass of the actual compound here, um, we need to calculate the molar mass of the empirical formula now. So to do that, it'll be, since there's five carbons, it'll be five times 12.01 plus um, 7 times 1.008 plus 1 times the molar mass of um, nitrogen, which is 14.01, okay? The grand total for that um, is going to be 81.116. That's the molar mass of my empirical formula. So coming up back up here then, the ratio is going to be um, 162.12 divided by 81.116. And um, the whole number that we get is 2. All right, it's like 1.998, it's 2. So now we take and uh, we multiply 2 times the empirical formula so my MF is going to be equal to C10 H14 and two. So this would this represents the actual chemical formula of nicotine.